Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Ratan Datta. Today we will be studying about flywheel and turning moment diagram of a four stroke engine where it shows how flywheel manages the fluctuation of energy in an engine during one complete cycle. Okay, so what do you mean by flywheel? A uh, flywheel is, is a mechanical device which acts as an energy reservoir, okay, which acts as an energy reservoir which stores the energy when the supply of energy is more than the requirement and release the same energy when the supply of energy is less than the requirement okay um, a flywheel a flywheel is a uh, mechanical device which stores some part of the positive energy during the power stroke and release the same energy during the other three strokes that is suction compression and exhaust okay so uh, your flywheel acts as an energy reservoir during a complete cycle of an engine so you can see a uh, <clears throat> turning moment diagram in, in the right hand side of my thing that shows in the x-axis it is the turning moment or the torque and in the x-axis it is showing the uh, angle of crankshaft so what do you mean by turning moment diagram turning moment diagram is defined as an area under the torque or turning moment and the angle of rotation of the crankshafts which represents the energy stored or released by the flywheel as you can see in the, there are four strokes it is it has been showing in the first part it is the suction then in the second stroke it is the in the x-axis you for, you can follow in the first part it is the suction and in the second part it is the uh, compression and in the third stroke it is the power stroke or the expansion stroke and in the last stroke it is the exhaust stroke as you can see you can see some negative loop or a downside loop in the suction stroke and the compression stroke it represents the energy or the work is taken from the engine but as you can see in the power or expansion stroke that is the third stroke you can see a big positive loop okay it represents the energy uh, produced by the engine okay but there is a line passing through it that is the uh, line uh, um, the horizontal line that is called the t mean you can follow in the diagram that it is the t mean this is the energy requirement uh, for the engine to operate continuously but above the uh, uh, above the part so above the part you can see a part is mentioned as excess energy or extra energy in the red font you can see right this is the thing this is the part of energy that is being stored by that is stored by the flywheel it's it stores this energy and releases this energy during the suction compression and exhaust okay so your flywheel uh, actually stores energy when there is a uh, there is no such a, um, a requirement of that much of energy for the engine and releases the same energy during the requirement okay so this turning moment diagram or you can say t theta diagram represents the flywheel's work and how it manages the fluctuation of energy during one complete cycle of uh, one complete cycle of an engine this is a four stroke engine and hence it has been shown from 0 degree to 720 degree because one stroke will be equal to 180 degree then 180 degree then 180 degree then 180 degree total of 720 degree this 720 degree of crank rotation will give you one power stroke and part of this power stroke will be saved or stored by the flywheel and it will be given back or released during the other three strokes so this is what do you mean by the flywheel and the turning moment diagram of a four stroke engine thank you thank you so much for like sharing my content thank you once again bye bye